Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at uh, whites and blues with regards to how we like our tanks. This is down to personal uh, preference, depending on what you like. Personally, I've always wanted to see the fish in all their glory. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love corals under blues. And under that heavy UV makes them corals pop. But I do prefer quite high whites. This obviously has its downsides. I run my tank on quite high nutrients, which high nutrients and high whites leads to, you guessed it, air algae amongst other things obviously you can see we've still got Aptasia in there but one thing that I've been using that has been battling the hair algae situation is a Brightwell Aquatics razor now I, I did make a bit of a mistake when I bought this I was led to believe from somebody that I spoke to that this would combat the hair algae in the tank and the diatoms on the sand bed. When I've read about the overview, it's not designed to get rid of hair algae. It's designed to, to keep surfaces clean, which in a way I guess that does mean getting rid of it. But it's not, it's not really worked from from what I can gather. Um, there is parts of this that has have worked, i.e., the keeping the glass clean. So as you can see, um, I haven't scraped the glass in this tank for about four or five days. Prior to using razor. I was scraping, I needed to scrape the glass every day or every other day at, at latest. So I can vouch that it does, it does do its job in that sense. The back wall has got better as well. You can't really see it on the video. Um, it's quite difficult to, to gauge the back wall. But there are definite improvements. However, this is, it's hard to identify and establish exactly what the cause of the improvements are because I've reduced my light sight schedule and I've also reduced the amount of whites. So for the past, past two weeks, I've just been running the tank purely on blues and UV. So as I've said before, I use AI Hydras and an AI Prime HD. So there are certain, you know, it's a lot easier to modify the schedule. You know, the AI app is, is brilliant to be able to just tweak things. I was running on the Saxby uh, preset. I'd had good experience with that in the past on, on other tanks. For coral growth and obviously it is it is quite a, a light or a wider spectrum which is why I ended up loving that that preset because it really does show off all the fish that's in the tank you know the whites it's, it's common knowledge that the whites in the tanks are purely for humans corals don't need whites the fish don't need whites, it, it's just for our viewing purposes only really. So I've done, like I said, I, I reduced the schedule by three hours, uh, took that off 45 minutes um, in the morning and then I reduced it because I, I had my lights going off at something like half past nine at night. They are ramping up and ramping down, so I've just reduced that ramping time and lowered the percentage as well. 
which is obviously not doing this there's certain corals that I'm not sure whether that's affecting too much but for sure it's it's definite helping with the algae control so we're coming back to the the razor I've been using this and running it alongside Microbac 7 following the instructions on dosing this and it, it's not every day I don't run it on a dosing system it's just manually dosing it and I'm not a perfect reefer by any means so this has ended up with some days I've missed so the next day I don't up the dose I just go back to what dose it should have been but yeah, I think the tank is slowly getting better. Obviously, as we all know, reef tanks are a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, having that patience. But I would definitely recommend Razor and Microbacter. Microbacter 7, obviously, is, is a brilliant product. But this Razor, it's the first time I've ever really heard anybody using it local to me anyway or people that i speak to in the aquarium hobby um but you can see their gentle loosening of ugly accumulations of unwanted substances debris and coatings which make their removal by scraping or vacuuming much easier now i did a, a water change on this tank last week it was after i'd added some of the fish um I did a 20% change and I am due to do another 20% change. I'm just waiting on getting some more water and then obviously heating that up because the chap who I get my water from doesn't always keep it heated. But I know that his, his water already always reads zero TDS and obviously I always check it before I add it to the tank anyway. Yeah, things are getting things are getting better. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage from the really ugly stage where basically both of these rocks were absolutely covered. But I know in between the Duncans that don't look very happy at the top and then green implosions, the little gap of rock there that was. You know, the hair algae on there was up to an inch to two inch long. It was really big. The blue eye coal tank is definitely been doing his job, picking at rocks, picking at algae, which is obviously what we brought him in here for. Right on cue, you can see him doing his job there. But obviously he tends to go for the smaller stuff, sort of the newer growth of the algae rather than the really dark thick hair algae but nonetheless it's it's definitely been beneficial adding him into the tank so i have got some ideas of where i go with this tank next i was going to do a separate video about it but i think yeah i'm going to do a separate video about it there's too much, I don't want to ramble on too much. So I'll just do a separate video and if you're interested in that, you can check it out. If you subscribe to my channel, obviously you'll get notified when when that new video comes up. But it could, could be some big changes, big, big changes to the tank. It change the look, the flow, it would change everything. So if you like how I've got the tank at the moment and you don't want anything to change, let me know. Or if you're intrigued on what my changes would be, let me know and I'll, I'll get another video out. I just love seeing these fish under whites. And the water, I know to some it might not look great, but for me running this tank, this water is, is gin clear which is obviously always, always beneficial. Yeah, I think we'll cap the video off there. 
thanks for watching and like i said please like and subscribe and i'll keep keep uploading these videos for you thank you